Question number six. The solution to three times x minus eight plus four x equals eight x plus four is. So there are two ways to do this. We can do this by hand or we can do it on the calculator. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it by hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this equation and we're gonna solve for x using PCVNA. So we know our PCVNA technique. The P stands for parentheses, so I'm going to get rid of my parentheses by distributing. So I have three times x, which is three x. Three times a negative eight is a minus 24 plus four x equals eight x plus four. Now what I'm gonna do is I know my P is done. Now I combine my like terms and I look at one side at a time. So I'm gonna look in this area. What can I combine? I can combine a three x and a four x. So 3x plus 4x is 7x, and then I have my minus 24. And then I have to ask myself, can I combine 8x and 4? No, I can't. So I'm just going to rewrite them. So now I have to get all of my variables on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get my x's to the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 7x, subtract 7x, 7x is cancel. So I'm left with negative 24 equals 1x plus 4. Now all my variables are on one side. Now I'm going to move all my numbers to the other side. So I'm going to get this plus 4 over here by subtracting. So minus 4, minus 4. Negative 24 minus 4 is negative 28. And that's equal to 1x. Get rid of the number attached to your x by dividing. So divide by 1, divide by 1 and I get x equals negative 28. And that's your final answer. What you could have done was this. You could have put this equation right here, or this expression in y1, and then this expression in y2. So I'm going to go to y equals, I'm going to type in three times x minus 8, let's hope I make this before my iPad dies, plus 4x, Ooh, I had to put this in y1, 3 parenthesis x minus 8, plus 4x, now go to y2 and I put in my 8x plus 4, I'm now going to hit second graph, and if I look, my first answer choice says go to x equals 12, so I'm going to go to x equals 12. And if I look at x equals 12, I get 60 and 100, that doesn't work. Since we already solved this by hand, and we know our answer is negative 28, we're gonna scroll up to negative 28. It's gonna take a while, but I can't see the right answer. And if I look, I get negative 220 and negative 220. And that's how you can also do it. And that's how you get the points.